What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. We've got bus stuff for sale. I want to show off three different things. But before we get into that, don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots, bus stuff for sale, the picture submission form, or just any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. And with that, let's not waste any more time. I want to show you this Amtrain Genesis that's probably one of the nicer ones that I've seen. So we are in Portland looking at one of my favorite dealers that offers you $500 off of a bus if you're a hippie. There is a lot going on in the description, but the main things that you need to know, it has a DT-466 with 177,000 miles on it. So take a look at the Genesis here. This, like I said, is probably one of the nicer uh, Genesis's Genesi uh, that I've seen. So first off, getting the obvious out of the way, we have an air horn. That's obviously that's a great feature to have on any bus. But we also have under storage on the bus. We have an airfoil in the back. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And there is a crossing gate up front, even though it is the figure eight style, which I don't really like. But hey, you know what? That's okay. The bus overall looks to be in fantastic condition. I, I don't see like anything wrong with the bus right now. Um, it looks like it's, you know, just a couple years old and not like, you know, 20 plus years old. So yeah, I, I, this, this is, this is looking good so far. Here's a side view of the bus. If you take a look right behind the second roof hatch, you can see that there is a strobe on here. And also just pointing it out that little window right in front of the side emergency exit. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen those before, but they're always just kind of odd. Here's a look at the front of the bus. Again, this is bus is in fantastic condition. Uh, just very, very like minimal repaints here and there that you might want to do to make this bus look better, but uh, great condition overall. Here's a look at the passenger side of the bus and another view of it. Taking a look at the back, this is what I really found odd. Look at the Amtran logo on the bumper there. That's not something that you see very often. I wonder why they put that there. It's a very unusual spot for an Amtrain logo. Here's a better look at the back of the bus. You can see the airfoil above the warning lights. Here's a look at the back driver's side of the bus. Here is a couple different shots of the tires. Again, they look to be pretty good. The build plate showing that this bus was made in June of 97. It's got just about 177,000 miles on it. The driver's area looks to be, again, great shape, and I'm surprised that that driver's seat is in as good of condition as it is, even if it is a new seat. Here is the front of the bus. Again, not much wrong with it. Here's the back of the bus from the front and the front of the bus from the back. There's a look at that DT-466. Here's a couple different shots of the underside of the bus. Like I said, that bus is in surprisingly good condition. Whoever had that bus kept it like in tip-top shape throughout its many years of service, and I'm sure that they kept it until uh, they were just not allowed to keep it anymore because that bus... Um, I'm sure just has like no problems with it based off of the condition that it's in. Nearly 10,000 bucks for the bus is pretty high, but it's a dealership. So they're going to charge a little bit more, but for the condition of the bus, um, I would not be surprised to see this turned into a schoolie, um, just because of how good the bus is overall. Next up, we are moving to Bridge City, Texas, and we're taking a look at a 1990 International Ward. It's a 71 passenger bus, a 7.3 liter engine, and 207,000 miles. Here's a look at the front of the bus. Nothing too crazy about it, just a Ward International. If you look, this bus is numbered 45, which is kind of interesting because Adam just sold a Ward International, although it was numbered 594, and Noah owns a bus 45. I don't know. Also notice that this bus has no stop sign. Texas didn't require stop signs on school buses at this point. So some of these early 90s buses didn't even have stop signs. Heck, I rode on one when I lived in Texas. And that's kind of crazy. But the thing that gets me about the bus is the lettering above the windows and school bus on the set. Come, come on. Here's a look at the passenger side of the bus. You can see there's a jackknife door and you can see this lettering a little bit better. Texas state spec requires that you have school bus written on the side of the bus. And as someone who grew up in Texas, that is a spec that I grew very fond of and I, I really enjoy. But there are so many better ways that they could have implemented it 
instead of this. You could have put school bus, you know, a little bit lower, or you could have put it in front of the district name or behind the district name. But why did you put the district name above the windows? <laughs> uh, here's a look at the back of the bus. Nothing too crazy about that. Here's another view of it. This is not the worst implementation I've seen of this. I did a lots of lots a little while back. It was either in Colorado or Utah where they don't require that you put school bus on the side of the bus, but they just had the district name above the windows. And that is one of the worst specs that I've seen. And this, this is definitely up there. I do not like this. I think this looks very stupid. And the amount of space between independent school district as compared to Bridge City, and the fact that they're using like different sizes and maybe even different fonts on that is just, no, there, there's, this could have been a great bus, but <laughs> they, they had to ruin it. This bus was manufactured in August of 1989, and you can see the build plate right there. The inside of the bus looks to be in pretty good condition overall. I'm not seeing anything really wrong with it. There's a small little tear in the tread. You know, that, that's not the end of the world. The back of the seats have definitely seen better days. You can see that there's a big tear in one of them, and they, they, they look pretty worn looking at it this way. Here's a look at the driver's area. You can see that there is a manual door on this bus. And also notice that this has the older 1980s international dash on there something that is common on these 1990 buses here's another look at the front of the bus here's a couple different shots of the tires and yeah i mean for 1700 bucks honestly that is a steal uh it's listed that the engine has unknown problems and the transmission does so i don't know if that means that there are problems and they just didn't diagnose them or they don't know if there are problems with it but if there are no problems with it 1700 bucks is a it's a steal for this bus even if it does have terrible specs on it but as someone who grew up in texas and rode a 1990 international bus even though it was a bluebird and not a ward um i i i'm definitely glad to see this and glad that it was kept around for so long and last but not least we are looking at a 2007 thomas c2 listed for thirteen thousand dollars in chili ohio the description says it's an 07 C2, 227,000 miles with the strongest Mercedes engine that they have ever seen. Take a look at the bus. You don't even have to look at the inside to know that this bus has turned into a schoolie because they just rode it on the side of the bus. <laughs> the bus doesn't look to be in terrible condition overall. It, it's definitely faded. Um... It looks all right. Nothing, nothing crazy about it. Here's a look at the back of the bus and, uh... This is part of the reason why I want to show this off. Look at how they put the AC unit on there. They just kind of strapped it to the back. And um, that's that's quite a way to put it on there. I can't say that I've ever seen that before. It is a handicapped bus. You can see they also wrote schoolie right there on the wheelchair lift door. And again, the bus looks to be in decent condition overall. There is a look at that Mercedes engine and a look from the other side. And the inside of the bus, you can see that they have definitely started the conversion process. Uh, take a look at the roof uh, and the fact that there's just a bunch of random stuff in the bus. There is a better look at the roof and the AC system. Here's the inside of the bus. They put in a little table there and just lots of other stuff. <laughs> it's just full of anything and everything you can imagine. And just one more shot of the interior. $13,000 is a pretty high asking price. Um, you know, it looks like they got a decent amount done with the schoolie conversion. I, obviously, there's a lot of stuff in there, so we can't see every single thing that they've done. But I can definitely see someone buying it up and finishing it. And there you have it. Those are the three buses that I wanted to show off. But as always, let me know which one of those buses you would get if you had the time, money, uh, resources, and anything else that you might need. If... I had to choose it would probably be the genesis it looks like it's in the best condition uh i i really like the specs on there for it being a genesis uh it, it's definitely kind of a step above other genocide that i've seen so i think i would go with that but anyways let me know which one you would get in the comments below and don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots bus stuff for sale the picture submission form or any one of my videos in general you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. 
I make sure to take a look at each and everything that is submitted. And with that, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in here where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or I'm going to write schoolie on the side of your bus, whether you own one or not. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.